Shane Bruce, Rustin Ma Daisy, and we've got an update for you. Got a project gun we've been working on, and it's about ready to go home. Uh, this is about a three year old model 1938 Daisy Red Rider. Uh, current production gun. It's not a complete resto mod. It had some mods on the gun when it showed up. Uh, but the customer wanted the original paint removed and wanted to steal fire blue. We've done that. Uh, the gun showed up with a Chief AJ large loop lever. One of these guys here. Uh, what we did on the gun was strip the uh, heavy duty plastic coat that uh, AJ puts on the product out of the factory. Uh, polished it up, removed as much of the scratches as we possibly could, and fire blued the gun so that it would match, or fire blew the lever so it would match the rest of the gun. Uh, as we roll down the receiver here, I wanted to show you one of the differences between the older guns that I like to work on and this gun is the amount of roll stamps that Daisy has put on these weapons in order to, uh, well, I guess, legal protections. But as you can see, you've got a roll stamp for just about everything in the world. Uh, I don't see a, a map or anything. That would be nice if you could know where Daisy was actually located. Uh, the older guns don't have this nonsense. It's basically driven by liability product, product liability laws. Pretty nice gun though. It's got the side tap loader, had a fiber optic sump front sight on it. And the customer sent it to me with a Cobalt 327 Super Spring and an overbore air tube installed. Um, he chronoed the gun before he did that mod and it was running about 241 average. After I got the gun and got it back together, it runs about 317 with a couple of spikes to 320. So it's actually a pretty nice gun, hitting pretty hard for a Red Rider. Here's the other thing that we had to work on was the Chief AJ stock. Now I've seen plenty of photos of these guns, of these stocks, and they were the first uh, adult size stocks that were available as an aftermarket product for the Red Rider platform, but they do have their issues. Um, let's take a look up here. You'll notice that the original stock bore hole has been filled with a wooden dowel and the hole has been re-drilled. And I've seen this mentioned on forums, uh, Daisy forums, before about the AJ stock set. The reason for this was that for I don't get how you can make a uh, Daisy stock and pre-bore the, the stock mounting hole when it goes in the gun it won't fit. So most everybody that gets one of these has to do the same process. Fill the original stock hole with a wooden dowel and then redrill the stock hole they want to mount it with. The other major problem with the uh, AJ, Chief AJ rear stock and lever set is that in the uh, original configuration, when you go to close the loop on the lever, the uh, lever itself stands proud back here at the base. And that's because the lever inlet loop is not deep enough on the factory stock. And what we've done with this one is we've recut that uh, lever inlet so that it will actually fit flush when the gun is uh, assembled and mounted and make the uh, handling of the gun a little easier because you don't have such a wide gap there. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but the gun was standing, the lever stands about out to here with the factory stock without a lever relief cut. And now it fits in nice and snug like it ought to. Uh, the other thing we did with the AJ stock was the customer wanted a steel butt plate. So we went ahead and trimmed the edge of the stock and then installed a butt plate to fit the profile. So now it's got a steel butt plate. It's got a bright steel lever that fire blew pretty well and matches the rest of the gun pretty nicely. And as a result of that, uh, got to shoot it a little bit more, but it's pretty much a done deal. It'll be heading back to the client. Uh, hopefully he'll be happy and we'll be happy to see it head on its way. Oh, one other item I wanted to talk about. These two washers. The uh, Chief AJ stock is also slightly less thick than a factory stock from Daisy. So this is a pretty common mod as well. What you'll have to do is mount these two washers on either side of the stock so that it doesn't give you any left-right wobble, which it will tend to do without these mount, these uh, very thin spacers to take up the extra slack because this stock mics out at about 0.81 where our factory stock would mic out at about 0 0.89, 0 0.90. So they're a little bit thinner. They are longer, uh, but they, they have this issue. So that's something you want to keep in mind if you're looking at um, picking up an extended length AJ stock. Honestly, I got to tell you kids, the easiest thing in the world to do is just get yourself a one by six pine board and make your own stock if you just want a longer stock. It's not hard to do. It's a good experiment, and it'll give you a, a modicum of skill sets in messing with wood. Well, this is Shane Bruce with Rest of Mod Daisy. That's all we've got for you today, kids. Signing off.